Let me tell you a story. In my first year in school in the Philippines, I made friends with people who shared the same passion as me. Football. Andrew, Matthew, Jay and I would participate in a highly competitive tournament where no rules were established. Lunch break football. This is where we strengthened our friendship. These friends brought me into my first real football. Nomads was a great team. We'd win almost every day long tournament and beat all the other kids in our age bracket. But it wasn't the football that made us stand out. It was our family spirit. <laughs> we would spend loads of time together, share, laugh, and joke about our lives. The years went on, the team got better, and we progressed in the good way as well. When you get really good at something, opportunities will open up to you. I was finally a distinguished player of my generation. I received recognition awards and was even scouted for the national team. When you're really, really good at something, more opportunities will follow. Global Football Club asked all the national team players to play for them. So I followed. However, my teammate and friend, Eddie, disagreed, for he felt that a piece of family was being taken away from him. I remember that night vividly. He was furious, and he asked me angrily, Family or the glory? But I brushed it off and just left, pissed and confused. He kept trying to convince me to stay, through messages. He even told me to go home. He told me I looked better in green and white. After two seasons at Global, he was able to convince me to come back. I did, but sadly, only for one day. Thereafter, I ended up playing for Kaya FC. This perhaps was the greatest mistake I have ever made, for he was the piece that kept the puzzle together. Even if Eddie and I had our disagreements, he still cheered me on from the sidelines of my games. The longer I spent time there, I realized that I had forgotten what family was. Then, something dreadful happened. I got a call one night. The voice on the other side told me that Eddie had left us for good. I was devastated. It was as if my heart was a grenade and Eddie was a pin that was put. I rushed to the hospital to find everybody that knew Eddie, crying in each other's arms. I knew, I knew I couldn't turn back time. And if ever I got the chance to say that I'm sorry, I would. And if I could just, if I could just take back the things that I've done, I would. But somehow, I know we're all right. Because God is watching over us. I know he's in God's hands now. He wants us to be happy. Months went on, and it's been hard for me to get over this. But I've decided to come back to play for my team. It's been hard for everybody, but Eddie has taught us all about words. Home is where you feel the happiness. And I guess he felt the happiest when he was with us. He found home in his purest form. And family will never leave you, even if you stray away. Family will always support you and your decision, and we've all put that in our hearts. It's a shame that we can't play in the world with you. We've all lost such a beautiful soul, and when you lose something that beautiful, you can't get it back. You can only wait to meet it once more. But thanks to his words, I've learned to play for God. And I promised to myself that I would play for Eddie's legacy.